Welcome to the end of the carrot, part 35 of Let's Play Oracle of Ages. And we are in a subsequent attempt at the second form of Varan, the fairy. Yes. Now, the most difficult part about this particular form for me is not her projectiles, honestly. Her projectiles are rather slow moving, and I can dodge those just fine. My problem is the mir is the mirrored links. The, the, the mirrored mirror links are uh, are I end up running into more often than anything else in this fight. You're not. Um, I don't mean to nitpick, and I'm basically arguing with past you at this point. There is a way to dispatch the dark links without getting hit. You have to spam your sword. <clears throat> you have to spam sword swings while holding the direction that you want the links to go in. So you, ah. for you force them to go into your sword strike because they have no choice but to copy your movements. And you're about to die. You're dead. Mm. I have I have fallen against Varan again. Again. Thankfully, this is where the power of jump cut comes in. No, this is the power of save and continue. <laughs> oh, there's the jump cut. Okay, so you skip the first form again. And I hate that fucking attack. I really do. All, all of her, all of her projectile attacks are really annoying, especially that one. Especially when you're right next to her when she does that. Also find it highly suspicious that she's using the fairy form over her overt comment in the previous form stage of the boss fight. Though she was actually coming on the link for a second. They, they, they want to send they want to send you they want to send you you know sexy women to think about and look at in a fucking sprite based game while also throwing a shitload of puzzles at you so you spend that much time that much more time playing the game doing the puzzles and looking at the sexy women die and she's moving faster yes every time you hit her she accelerates a bit this, actually, you know what makes this phase of the boss fight a lot easier is if you use Pegasus Seas to keep up with her. Because she's moving all over the place! It's like she knows. Fuck you! That's right, keep your distance. Oh god, okay. I, 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 have, I have faith in you, Gerdat. Hey, you have faith in me. Uh, it's, it's only faith. Faith is belief there. based on no evidence. All right, and with this, you know, the second the second boss fight of Iran is complete. Hey, Nehru. Hey, Ralph. But the bad music is still playing. I don't feel safe. Well, you shouldn't feel safe because we are still in her fortress. So, Ralph, don't start congratulating yourself now. You, we're still in the fucking tower. <laughs> You've finally beaten Varahan. Now the chaotic flow of time should return to normal. Shall we go back to the village? Yes, let's go back. Surely nothing will, bad will happen on Got the way to back. Get back. Back to the past Samurai Jack. Demon, what did you do? Quick! No! Please, please. I don't want to climb up the tower again! Where am oh. I? Oh, shit. Hello, but my hungry hippos. You've spoiled all my plans. I hope to avoid revealing this vile shape. You will pay for the humiliation. Now, learn to taste true despair and the fear of death. You said death. You are probably going to die. Probably? What is this probably nonsense? Because the turtle form is a little difficult to avoid. And... I'm actually amazed that she only does half a heart of damage. No, you don't need to switch her for this part. You just need to wait for her to fucking stop jumping. And then throw a bomb at her. No, and then no. slash her in the face. Alright, right, right. This is the uh, turtle form. Where Please you don't blow yourself sword. up with the bomb. <laughs> you saw a bomb on spider form, sorry. Hey, that actually didn't work. Well, you already said it, would, it wasn't going to work. You're not even trying, man. Just, just I, I am attempting to use each of my items according to their value. You're not, but you're not using the first logical option, which is the sword that you already have equipped. You're still avoiding her. You see, I am convinced that, you, that at this point I'm supposed to be using bombs. I'm fairly convinced at this point. You're just trying not to get killed at this point. <laughs> 
why you keep using projectile attacks? And I have been filled right, once well, again. That was... Alright, let's try this. Let's try this one more time, and yes, you actually have to start the whole fucking boss fight all over again. Yes, you do. That's why, that's why the final boss... Actually, no, Varan is a little bit more tedious to fight than Onox, because Onox doesn't have as many forms. You're also supposed to use Pegasus Seeds to make it just a little bit easier to avoid the attacks. This is the spider. Ah! Yes, you're, the, the spider form you're supposed to use the bombs on. I, I don't really care for this final boss music. It doesn't feel quite as exciting as, say, like the dungeon boss music. No, demon! Use the bombs! Use the bombs! I don't know what I'm supposed to do! Mind you, it's not perfectly clear how to contend this form. You're supposed to use the bombs to stun her and then your sword to slash her. Yep. It's like, what? Is, uh, no precedent for this. Fuck you, Horan. Oh, god damn it. And yes, when she tramples you, she does a whole heart of damage. Vile demon! Not you! And yeah, and the fear of death. Okay, we're gonna do this again. <laughs> Fuck you! Don't now, you as many times as I show off this particular fight, I how don't show off all of her forms. How? How the hell do you have so much help for it now? Uh, cause I actually, I, I actually did, uh, this, uh, the particular fight against, uh, uh, against, you know, a fairy really well. Uh. Yes! One of the things that I never successfully showed off during the, uh, during the normal run, you can actually pick up bombs after you've dropped them. Which is kind of pointless, because the fuse on bombs is really slow. They, they, it was not their intention for you to re-throw the bombs ever. It's just to get the throw right the first time. Yes, I get it. You, you, love, you love trampling me for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna slash you in the face again. This, um... This doesn't seem to be hitting all that hard. I mean, granted, she deals one one unit, one whole heart of damage whenever she touches you, except for right here. Because for some reason she acid she acidifies the floor when she lands. And the bee! Wait, but this is it. This is the last of the forms. You really want to use your sense seeds against the bee because she moves all over the goddamn place. And that thing happens, and oh, it slows God. you down. Jesus. And you are about to die. Got it! Oh, With yeah. half a heart left, I use the swarm of bees to my advantage. Oh, that was so cool, Gerda. You, 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 wow. I can't the believe... flame of sorrow. Yep, you're... Oh, yeah, it's like... It, no, just take away whatever satisfaction the player gets from beating the final boss at the last second. It's like, this isn't the end. It's like, it might as well be. Maybe I don't feel like playing the expansion. Fuck this game. <laughs> what do you mean expansion? They're two totally separate games. They're supposed to be totally separate games. Maybe. Queen Abby. Alright, and here's where we have more evil music. Oh no, it's the final boss. Queen Ambie herself. Ambi, we have half a heart left. Please, I don't want to fight all five of your invincible guards. How do you know who I am? Oh, oh we've interacted with Ambi before. Yeah, but then we were just some... We were just some nameless kid who gave, gave the queen bombs because she wanted them. Oh, look, it's the happy music. Everything's back to normal. Yay, we are de-petrifying them, and they get back to their game of catch. This guy can continue to dance. Dance! The rabbits are done. The rabbits are unpetrified. Yay! And comedy. Aww, that's so adorable little bunny. Demon, my respect for you has grown. I thought it was over when you got locked in the tower. I never thought you'd outdo me. Ralph, Ralph is my grandson's son. grandson grandson. Which I'm sure makes I'm him about 150 years older than me. 
I am sure that there are more descendants than that. Great, 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 great grandmother. That's not enough greats. For a hundred years is a really long time. Actually, that's more than enough greats for a hundred years. Oh, great. Okay, every great is like times thirty years. No, no that's... great is twenty years. There would have to be generation. There would have to be twice as many greats. I can't see Queen Amy's face. Isn't this only supposed to be one hundred years? But what is this? Don't think it ends here. Wait, how long did you say that it probably was? A hundred years? No, it's it's, it's four hundred. Oh. 400. The, maker, the maker tree tells you, and it's your only clue as to how as to how far apart the timelines are. That that four hundred. darkness, our wish will be granted. Ah! And now we get the best piece of credits music in the game. Yeah, this this I like this credit sequence. It actually reward. It's actually a decent reward, except when you beat the game on your very first file because it doesn't let you go through the credits again ever. At least not if you save the game afterwards. Let's have a good old laugh now. Yes, now we have a statue that prevents us from leaving uh, from making. Oh, I forgot about that. Ralph is like, what the fuck? And then Impa just slaps the shit out of you for no reason. You'll notice that the Meiku tree isn't in this shot. Look at all these Japanese names. Hello, Neru. Oh, Syrup is still here. Yay, Syrup. He's flying. He's flying happily. And then she's like, I forgot my iPod at home. I want to listen to this for a second. Huh. We're gonna be animal friends. Um. So, but yeah, that was that was Oracle of Ages. Everyone. Yes. That was, that was the as whole much game. as I as much as I think that Oracle of Ages is a, is a good game, and I have never actually finished season, so I can't really compare it to that. It is not my favorite Zelda game. Not even close. Oh, right. and here's where Link learns the great spin attack. And this is where Ralph fails at doing the spin attack. But here's the thing. Link will then use that exact technique with more stability in later games. It's the great spin attack. See, and Ralph? it is awesome. You will never be as cool as I am. But I'm going to steal your technique anyway. Um, no. Oracle of Ages is definitely not my favorite Zelda game. It's... Very close though, because this this game just it, in a lot of, for a lot of reasons this game holds a special place in my heart. You know because I I had to oh that's how the statue got there because I played this as a kid and just a lot of very memorable moments. That's what Queen Ambie actually looks at looks like. Look at the horror. Yes, um, she has huge fucking breasts for some reason. <laughs> not not the breasts, the the eyebrows are like thin and shit. Um, no, this is by no means one of the best, one of the best Zelda games I've had, but it, it was one of the most memorable, somehow. Um, uh, I don't think so. I honestly think that Link to the Past is actually more memorable. Oh, certain, certainly, Link, well, I mean, Link to the Past, that goes without saying, Link to the Past is, is like the quintessential Zelda game. Um, but... Hey, Koji Kondo. If I had a port of this available... Because I do, I do actually own the Game Boy version of this game. It was one of the last Game Boy Color games I ever bought, which was long after the Game Boy Color era had ended. Um, this game was just always fun to play through. The, the music is outstanding, the characters are funny, the dialogue is goofy at times, and um, I, just found, I always found this game a, a joy to play. So, um, are you going to do Seasons? Uh, that depends. Do you actually leave in the secret code that they give you at the end of the credits? Yes, I do. Then I can use that code in the port of Oracle of Seasons so that I can actually continue from the save file. Which will get you the Noble Sword and... and I don't know what else. And the true ending. Okay. You have to play through... You have to play through the other game on the second using the secret password that they give you after the credits in order to get the true ending because we yes, all know we're... how Capcom loves to put true endings instead of just one ending. 
overall, I'd say that this is a game that you can that you can most certainly enjoy, and I do recommend people go out and try it. However, if you like any of the other Zelda games, barring um, barring a Zelda 2 more than this, that's totally understandable. Yeah, this it's, it's not gonna, this game is not gonna it's not gonna please everyone. I like it, but I don't like it enough to, you know, spend a lot of time on it. And that is the end of the carrot. Be safe, everybody. But where's the code?